Hi, my name is James Connolly. I've been at the school since 2005 and I'm head of sixth form at Doha College. At Doha College we follow the British curriculum, so in sixth form we do A-levels. majority of A-levels we do are an AS and an A2, which means at the end of year 12 you'll sit exams which are worth 50% of your A2 grade. We have several subjects who will do an international A-level and we have a few subjects who do a two-year linear programme, so they only sit the exams at the end of year 13. But we really do tailor make the, the courses to suit the students and to make sure they get the best ability and the best chance of getting the best grades. The reason why we chose A-levels for our curriculum is because the majority of our students will come through the British education system and then head back to the UK to follow up with the, the British universities. So we find that the A-level gives them the depth of knowledge that they need. It helps them to direct their studies into what they're interested in, into the depth that they need. Through the IB, I appreciate you also do community service, etc but we cover that very well through our extracurricular and our enrichment programmes. So we feel our students here actually get the best of both worlds. Hi, my name's Kane. I came to Doha College a year and a half ago to do my A-levels. When I first came to Doha College, I was going to be doing maths, further maths, chemistry and physics. Um, but with the support of the staff, um, I was able to change from further maths to biology. Um, and now I'm going to be doing pharmaceutical chemistry at the University of Doha. We have minimum requirements of five A to C's with minimum of B in the subject you want to do. So we make sure that they, they meet that standard. If students get better than they hoped, then yeah, they can come in, they can sit down, we have a conversation, they can sort of chop and change which subjects they want. So basically, until they actually arrive and walk into class, they have as much time as they need to make sure they've got the right options for what they want to do. My name is Joe, I'm from Wales. I've been in Doha five years. I'm currently studying Applied Business media studies and photography. I plan to go to university to study film production and I hope to see myself doing cinematography in the future. Here at Doha College, when students choose their options for sixth form, we actually give them an open options form with all the subjects we offer listed. Therefore, the students have a complete free range. We don't block them until they pick their options first. Uh, choosing the right subjects, I feel, is really important because it can help you push to where you want to go in the future. In Doha College we have a range of subjects that you can really specialise in what field you want to go into. It also means that students do subjects they enjoy, which obviously means then we get very good exam results, placing us in the top 10% of the UK. We're always exceedingly proud of our GCSE and our A-level results, and students who come here always leave us feeling satisfied that they really did give it their best shot and they're happy with the results that they got. External students who come in will have an interview with myself along the same process to make sure the options are right, make sure that their choices are what they want to do, to make sure that the standards that they're looking for are what we offer. The majority of our students will go back to the UK. The majority will go into Russell Group universities, so we're going to top universities. Every year we get students applying and, and being accepted to top universities such as Cambridge, Oxford, Imperial, King's, etc. We also have students who head off to America, would be one of our second big ones. Um, this year and last year we've had students going to Yale, students this year accepted to Harvard, We've had alumni from Princeton, we've had alumni from Brown, Rice, etc. So we do have a good reputation throughout the world. And for us, Canada is another big one that students go to Canada. They like the Canadian system, it reminds them a little bit of Britain, and they, they find that the universities are very welcoming and very open, and, and it, it suits a lot of our students as well. I'm Sarah, and I study biology, chemistry, physics, and maths, and I want to go on to study medicine. I really want to find something that amplifies my what I'm good at but also gives me a really good purpose in life and I think that when I, if I do become a doctor then every morning I know that I've helped someone or I really have done something for the community and that's really important for me. So exam results are excellent and we're, we're very very proud of them but obviously exam results are good but we also try to prepare students for life after school as well. We appreciate that this is their careers, their professions, we're getting them ready for life after Doha College. Some of the things we do, obviously, we work on a lot of their soft skills, we work on the interview techniques, we encourage them to get involved in leadership opportunities. We have very good committees in the sixth form, which are student-led, and we pretty much leave the students to get on with it, which is really nice.
One of the things we need to deal with is suddenly you have what, what's called study periods or free periods as the students prefer to call them, but we keep battling that one. The difference between GCSEs and A-Level is really big. Um, it's a really difficult emotional shift. You, you have to become a lot more mature and thankfully like Doha College really does give you that environment and the teachers do support you. Our enrichment is brilliant as well. 80% is academics but that 20% well what else will you bring to the university that makes them want you over the person beside you. We have different committees like social committee, environmental committee. When you look at our MUN for example we often have chairs at the Qatar Thaimund International Conferences. I mentor year sevens and that means that I'm quite responsible for their social well-being around school. I've been given the opportunity to be head of press in MUN and also the head of business at the Majlis, which is the school magazine, which is really good. <laughs> Obviously as you come into secondary then the, the scope for international trips opens up even further. Whether it's through educational trips, through the subjects such as art going off to New York, Japan to study the different architecture, whether it's DT off to Munich or Amsterdam, whether it's the enrichment trips where we look at the sporting trips such as the ski trip, we have an international award trip that goes to Nepal or Sri Lanka, we have several students who do their gold Duke of Edinburgh awards, we have World Challenge who last year climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in, in the summer months, so there's a lot of things we do to encourage people to get good grades but make sure they enjoy school. Uh, the social life going into sixth form I feel is much better. We have a common room where everyone socialises and it's a big space where everyone can just chill out and one part of the social committee is to throw parties and so everyone from year 12 and year 13 we all come together, we all socialise and we all have fun. At the minute we're currently expanding our sixth form. We're very proud of our sixth form, very proud of our students and we, we love the opportunity to invite others to come in and be part of, of the sixth form Doha College family. So if you are interested in putting an application, please get in touch with admissions or get in touch with myself or one of the sixth form team and we'll be more than happy to help you with that.